As we stepped through the crumbling iron gates of St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, a shiver ran down my spine. The air was heavy with the scent of decay and rebirth, as if the very earth itself was exhaling the secrets of the past. Our guide, a local with eyes that seemed to hold the weight of centuries, led us down narrow alleys lined with ancient mausoleums, their weathered stonework bearing witness to the city's tumultuous history. We wandered through a maze of headstones, each one telling a story of its own tales of love, loss, and tragedy. The tomb of Madame Delphine Lalaurie, the notorious socialite and slave owner, stood out among them. Her remains lay entombed beneath a crypt adorned with intricate carvings that told the story of her cruel reign. I couldn't help but feel the weight of history, as if the very stones were absorbing the collective sorrows and joys of those who lay beneath. As we delved deeper into the cemetery, the atmosphere grew increasingly surreal. We strolled past a Civil War memorial, where Confederate soldiers lay buried in silence. The guide's voice whispered tales of their lives cut short by the bloody conflict that had ravaged the nation. I felt the weight of history, the collective sorrow and loss that seemed to seep from the very stones. Suddenly a young girl's story caught my attention. Her inscription read, I was only twelve when I died. Her tale of tragedy and loss seemed to transcend time her spirit lingering like a ghostly presence. The guide's eyes sparkled as he shared her story, drawing us into a world where the living and dead coexisted. We approached the final resting place of Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Her tomb was a place of reverence and awe its walls adorned with flowers, candles, and offerings left by devotees who sought her mystical guidance. As we stood in silence, the thrumming energy of the city's ancient heartbeat seemed to pulse through us. The sun began its slow descent towards the horizon, casting long shadows across the cemetery's crumbling facades. The air grew cooler, carrying on its breath the whispers of the dead. It was as if we were being initiated to a secret world, one that lay just beyond the veil of the living. Our guide smiled knowingly, as if he had revealed a hidden truth to us. As we emerged from the cemetery, blinking in the bright sunlight, I felt forever changed. The St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 had unraveled its paranormal mysteries before us, revealing a world of secrets and stories that lay just beyond the edge of reality. We knew that we would carry this experience with us always, a haunting presence that would linger long after we left the city's threshold behind. The atmosphere of the cemetery still lingered in my mind as I walked away from the gates. The whispers of the dead seemed to follow me, echoing through the empty streets of New Orleans. It was as if I had caught a glimpse of a world beyond our own, a world where the living and dead coexisted in an eternal dance. As I looked back at the cemetery's crumbling facade, I felt a sense of reverence wash over me. The restoration efforts had not only preserved this sacred site,